Welcome to another video and today we'll be showing the Raspberry Pi Pico W which is the latest Raspberry Pi Pico which also includes Wi-Fi and is available for around $10. It has the same RP2040 processor and near identical pinout to the previous Pi Pico board both shown here. We'll show you how you can get up and running with Wi-Fi and hardware debugging on the Pi Pico W board using the latest developments in the board package from Earl Philhauer, which are yet to be fully released. First, you'll need to install the latest stable release in Visual Micro using the JSON URL from the GitHub page. If you haven't done this before, please see the video in the top right for more detail and instructions on how to get that done. Next, we'll need to pull the latest development branch called Wi-Fi from the repository to get the Wi-Fi capabilities before they're released. Downloading the zip doesn't work correctly and it misses multiple dependencies which cause it not to compile correctly. Luckily, using the Git instructions on the page, we can get everything done correctly. So first we're going to stage this in a folder on our PC. So we have to navigate to that in our git sdk command prompt. And then we can clone the repository. But we'll need to specify the branch as well, which can be done with the hyphen b branch name syntax as shown here. I'll take a few moments to download. Now once that's done, we'll need to update all of the submodules in the base package. So we'll have to move into the folder it downloaded and then run the git submodule update command. This will make sure any other modules it needs to pull down is done for us. And we've sped up some of this just to make it a bit easier for the video. Of course, once the full package is available for download, you won't need to do any of this. This is just to show you how to get up and running today before the full release is done. Finally, we'll need to go and update the Pico SDK, which is contained within the board package, and again, update all of the submodules. As we can see here, we've got the CY43 driver and the LWIP components, which are what's needed to use the CY43 Wi-Fi module and the IP stack provided from the LWIP package. Now that's done. We can go and run the Python script, which finishes everything off for us. Make sure all the other dependencies and tools are available. Right, so our staged board package is complete. So now we can copy the entire contents of our staged folder. And we can go to our board package folder, which is normally in your local app data. And then Arduino 15, packages, RP2040, hardware, RP2040, and then the version which we installed earlier. We're just going to replace all the files with our staged copy and this can take a while for Windows to figure out which files need replacing. Just replace all of them with the ones you're copying in. And that's it. Now we're also going to use the Pico probe for uploading and debugging, 
which can be created from a standard PyPico module using a slightly different image. Instructions are referenced on our site and this process is simple and only takes a few minutes to complete. So you can use another Raspberry Pi Pico board, Azure Debug Probe and Upload Tool. If you embed your own RP2040 chips this can be very useful for custom circuit boards as well. We also have the debug connection diagram shown on our website and we'll come back round to these shortly. Eventually you'll end up with the two boards wired together and in our demonstration we're just going to connect the Pico probe to the PC and not our target board. So now we're going to load Visual Studio and we're going to continue without code at this point as we're going to use one of the examples from the package. So we can open the Micro Explorer from the vMicro menu. And then we can go and find our new board. So if we just type in Pico, we should see a shorter list. And we can select the Raspberry Pi Pico W, brackets, Pico Probe, allowing us to also automatically use the Pico Probe for the uploads to the board. Then if we go to the Examples tab, we can expand the Libraries section from this board package and then go into Wi-Fi and here we're going to use the scan network example. So if we just click open copy, this will make a clone of that example so we can modify it as needed. So to use the debugging as well, we're going to need to ensure we're in the debug build configuration and then we're going to need to set the debug option to hardware and then select the Pico Probe option. Now that's done, we'll also need to ensure that we update the serial because we are running the serial through the Pico probe. So serial is through the USB port on the target board, whereas serial one means it comes through the hardware UART, so that can be passed through the Pico probe itself back to our PC. The wiring diagram for connecting the Pi Pico W is the same as it is on the Pi Pico, so all wiring diagrams shown on our site are still valid. And this means you have to connect the power lines, the two serial lines, and the SWD lines between the Pico probe and your Pico W or, or standard Raspberry Pi board to allow the serial and upload and debugging functions to work as expected. The only difference on the latest Pico W is the location of the SWD pins, which has been moved to make space for the Wi-Fi chip and its aerial. So and we're just going to connect the USB lead from the Pico probe to our PC and not the one from the target board. So once that's wired together and plugged in, we can select our serial port. We'll also need to ensure that we've installed the Win USB driver using the Zadig tool. There's a link shown in the top right and in the description. So once you've selected list all devices, you can select interface 2 on the Pico probe and update the driver to be the Win USB driver. This allows access from OpenOCD for the debugging and uploading functionality. So now we could build and upload our sketch or we could use a debug and start debugging to build and upload and begin a debugging session. But first we're just going to set a couple of breakpoints so we can demonstrate the debugging as well. So now we're going to press debug and start debugging which will perform the build and the upload through the Pico probe. We've been sped up here. And this will automatically launch into our debugging session for us without us having to press any additional buttons. If you do use just build and upload, you can then use debug attached to process to start the debugging session separately. So now that's started, we can open the serial port so we can see the Wi-Fi scan output from the sketch. And as we can see, it's landed on our breakpoint. And if we just continue, 
we get the results back from our Wi-Fi scan showing that this is all working correctly. Of course you get all of the same functionality in debugging, the single stepping and being able to move your breakpoints at runtime as with all hardware debugging in Visual Micro. And more information about this can be seen in the video in the top right. As you can see, this all works as expected, and we're looking forward to the full release of this soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, and please let us know in the comments if there's any other videos you would like to see on our channel.